do you believe in fate, Alarian? Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Hemvar, and today I'll be doing a spoiler-free review of Larry Korea's and Steve Diamond's Servants of War. Servants of War is a 2022 novel by Larry Korea and Steve Diamond, and it starts with Alarian and Balin. I think that's how you say his name, out hunting. Anyways, the Empire of Kolokovia has been at war for a hundred years, and um, these two somehow have avoided conscription because their village, Lyusha, is very remote. They are both young men, however, and prime victims for the Tsar to use in his war. Alarion is our main character, and he, um, he is set to marry Hana, Balan's sister, in a couple of weeks. He has poor eyesight and is a miller, and he ends up getting caught up in a divine conflict, um, rather tragically. Another character we get as a point of view is Kristoff, an agent of the Kolokovian secret police unit. Uh, it's a rather bloody business he's a part of, and very well introduced in context of the world. He reports to the Chancellor, who is the evil, I don't know, immortal, it seems like, magi that is pulling the strings of the Tsar. Um, once again, we have the character, another character rather, of Amos Lo, a man wanted by the secret police of Kolokovia. He's been hiding out and in prison for decades. And lastly, we have Natalia Baston, a Romani, which seem rather reminiscent of the Romani uh, in our world who works in the military because her parents are hostages of the Tsar. She has magic that is utilized at the Wall, which is... Hmm, how do I say this? Anyways, the Wall is a military unit used to break the trenches, because it's very much a World War I-inspired story. Anyways, disaster strikes in Chapter 1. It's very gruesome. I believe Diamond... Actually, now I know. When I was reading this, I didn't know. Anyways, Diamond writes horror... It's not terribly surprising. He also writes um, Kristoff's parts of the book as well. Um, this is the first book I read by either Korea or Diamond, though, and that was a few months ago because I'm way behind on my reviews. But this is military fantasy. It's not medieval. It's not Renaissance inspired. Um, it is 20th century inspired, early 20th century. Again, like World War One. There are guns and there's mechs, which are awesome. They're made from the dead bodies of golems. Um, there is steam power and electric light in the cities. There are also goddesses and fantasy creatures of magic. We have Baba Yaga, for one. Um, if it was not obvious, the story has some heavy Slavic inspiration. Kolokovia seems very Russian. Um, our character, almost low, very much seems like a Jew. Um, it seems, in fact, the secondary world is actually somehow connected to ours as well, though it's not, not very important to the story. So it is very Christian-like. Um, and they're not really analogous, but are actually seem descendant uh, from Earth somehow. But again, I'll let you just read it and figure that out. And I'm sure we'll get more of that in the next book, since this is book one of a series as well. But again, this kind of deals with, besides the horrors of war, which does a pretty good job of, it is also a heroic, though. This is Bane. They like their heroic stuff. It is pretty positive, right? And it deals with tradition and nationalism in a way. Um, and ethnicity and rights. Um, fate is also a big one, evil and good. Another, it's visceral and gloomy and horrific, but you know, some light peeks through the curtain of gray. And that is really where the story shines. Besides the fact that it's also well-written in a way that's really fast paced. The, the fun parts are fun. The, the gory parts are gory, so to speak. Um, but it's still, it's still happy enough. And I think most people, honestly, today, most most fantasy readers um, would like this one a lot. Uh, we don't get enough military fantasy as it is. Um, a World War One inspired fantasy setting is very different uh, than most of your fantasy settings. Um, so yeah, anyways, I really enjoyed this one. I'm definitely looking forward to, well, more in this series. Uh, I have gone and actually read another book by Steve Diamond after reading this, uh, and I still need to read more by Korea, but... Anyways, it's been Liam Williams Lyceum. I'll catch you next time.